They were raised in a city where marquee performers are larger than life. Now the Vegas-based band, The Killers, are making their mark on the world stage. Here's Denise Kwan with their story. They pose, they pout, they preen. The Killers are pure Vegas, baby, and don't you forget it. We're from Vegas. And so I think a lot of Vegas comes out in us, you know. We, you know we've, stiff, we've got Wayne Newton and Siegfried and Roy. But on their debut album, Hot Fuss, the influences are more Ziggy Stardust than Siegfried and Roy. It was like theater, you know, mixed in with, with the music. Well, somebody told me you had a boyfriend who looked like a The quartet's first single, The Cheeky Somebody Told Me, led to three nominations at this year's Grammy Awards. Unfortunately, they returned to Nevada empty-handed. Uh, I thought we won. I thought we won two of them. <laughs> and uh, I still think we should have. No. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, we lost to you two, and, you know, Vertigo was amazing. So. But. <laughs> <laughs> She's trying to get dirt. <laughs> Somebody told me it's better. Speaking of U2, the legendary Irish band names the Killers as an act that could fill their shoes in a few years. Killers, right? Come on. Las Vegas. It's a mutual admiration society. Put them up here, you know, because they've stayed together for 25 years and it's the same four guys. And... Three and a half years ago, the Killers were four guys with nine to five jobs. Guitarist Steve Kuning sold pants at Banana Republic, and bassist Mark Stormer delivered body parts as a medical courier. As for frontman Brandon Flowers and drummer Ronnie Venucci, I was a bellman at the Gold Coast a Casino. I was uh, taking pictures at a wedding chapel on the Strip. Even after a Platinum Plus CD, their roots are firmly planted near the lights of Las Vegas. We never thought we'd, we oozed Vegas until we got out of Vegas, you know? It wasn't until other people started to, to kind of point things out to us that really made us realize, wow. Denise Kwan, CNN, Los Angeles. Seems some overseas markets still long for the 19th.